Hello everyone, and welcome to uh, a discussion kind of review, because yesterday, maybe not the time you're watching this, but yesterday, just in general, for me, uh, which was May 27th, I saw, mm. that was my phone, um, I saw a concert, and it was of Caravan Palace, and every other music critic I know, whenever they see a concert, they do reviews, so I was like, why not, why shouldn't I? Um, and I'll have some still images for you, just to kind of give you an idea. I'm not going to actually show video, uh, unless, uh, because I don't know how video, uh, concerts fall under fair use, so I don't really want to chance that. Um, but I'll show, hopefully, some still Im images, and I'll give you an idea. Basically, uh, me and my friend, we drove a couple hours away, because where I live, there's not a lot of concerts, which is unfortunate. But we drove several uh, hours uh, to get to the nearby city where Caravan Palace was playing. And for those who don't, for a lot of people who might be watching this who don't know who Caravan Palace is, they're basically a, an electronic style mish, mashed with this like kind of older, older jazz and just kind of uh, that 50s kind of themed music. Um, and, you know, it's, uh, I'll, I'll get, jump into that, it's called Electro Swing, and I might review some of their albums in the future, so, hopefully look after that, um, and, you know, we got there, like, an hour and a half late, because the doors open at seven, but, you know, thankfully, we were so afraid we were gonna be late, we were driving, literally, uh, the, there was multiple times we went over a hundred, we rarely went under 80. It was, a, it was a, it was a, it was a scary car ride. Anyway, we get there. Um, we're like an hour and a half late, but uh, it was still just opening acts, right? And you know, we, it's, it's not like it's basically you stand up and you just kind of stand near the stage. Mm -hmm. And so, just my fucking phone. Uh, we got near towards the stage, and. Um, uh, because, you know, it's still opening acts, so it wasn't too crowded, and then it starts, and we're, we're, like, we're just a couple minutes early, and it was, uh, just, it was such a good time, uh, literally just, it was a couple hours, uh, Caravan Palace, they sound amazing live, uh, just the bass, each, the drums, uh, just the, they have so many instruments, just like saxophones and violins, and it was just, all beautiful um and the lead singer uh who is my new wife who for life who she oh my god I, I, I didn't know what they even looked like because I'm not like a big caravan palace guy my friend I was mostly there for him but you know I'm a, a very casual fan at this point but um literally uh she, the lead singer uh who I believe was French or something um, she referenced that, uh, while she was, uh, performing, and she was so full of energy and personality, she was playing the, you know, performance up to, uh, she was going for it, right, um, and there's like a storm outside, so I hope it's not catching that, uh, I'm a professional, um, what was I saying, um, yeah, and then there, there was, the lead singer, there's like a couple guys with like uh, t-shirts with suspenders who are on bass and shit. There's uh, this really cool keyboard setup, or not keyboard, but computer setup. Uh, and it had the logo and it was just so badass. Uh, I, I, my clip, or my still images aren't going to do it justice. Even the clips we got on our phones were, they didn't capture anything. And there were some moments, right, where, you know, uh, they were like, getting everyone to jump, and it was, it was so great, I might have stepped on some people's feet, it's hard to jump, and like, while you're being super crowded, right, but, uh, it was so cool, there was a lot of creative people in the crowd, um, there's some hipsters, a lot of old people, a lot of young people, it was a diverse, it was a diverse crowd, um, there was like these two people, there was a couple people next to us who were like full out, like, dancing, dancing, like taking up way too much room but they were like ah, you know just like literally right in front of us like i could have clocked them if i wanted to thankfully i didn't 
there was one point where I kind of wanted to, though. Not the point. Uh, but, yeah, they killer performance. Like, it's going to be one of those things you just don't forget. Um, and I, I know part of that's just I don't go to enough concerts, but it was, oh, my God. And literally, I'm making this video for a time capsule for myself. Uh, just because the clips and the still images aren't going to do it justice. And maybe just capturing my mind frame will, uh, will, but, uh, it, it honestly was just, a, like, killer performance, it got me so hyped, um, the, their energy and the crowd was feeding off it, like, everyone was, like, moving and doing, like, almost kind of, like, 50s, uh, dancing and stuff and grooving and just clapping and, singing along, you know, you can't, it's very hard, she was trying to get people to sing along, but it's like, you can't sing along with it, beep, 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 like, I'm like, and she literally was like, come on, louder, I was, I was like, I don't know how to say, and make it sound cool, I'll sound like a jackass if I sing that, um, just watch, or just listen to any of their music to kind of get an idea, but yeah, it was a badass show, uh, and I just wanted to kind of talk about it and hopefully uh, improve my memory in the future when I'm like, ah, oh, I want to reminisce. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like Caravan Palace, I yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can also uh, check out their music if you don't even know what I was talking about this entire time. So, uh, yeah.